morning to all of you. Today we are going to start accounting for the standard 11th. Accounting this subject divide in a two part. Part 1 contains 10 chapters and part 2 contains 11 chapters. Before starting chapter number 1, I want to narrate you some small introduction about this subject. Definitely this subject is related to the business but actually we familiar with this subject in our routine life. Like whenever we go to the market for purchase the various product, at that time we do the calculation about the total expenses and uh, our total income. That is a part of this subject. Now this subject is very important for the business. It is considered as a language of business. Now the introduction chapter number one is there accounting and its terminology. That means in this chapter we will discuss about the concept of accounting, definition of accounting, objective, objectives and advantage and limitation of accounting as well as the accounting various terms. Introduction of this accounting that means we can say that accounting started from the Asian time. Now accounting generally we do the accounting with the various two methods. One is there Desinama Y system and second one is their double entry bookkeeping system. Desinama Y system it is the oldest accounting method and double entry bookkeeping system it is a very scientific method and it is accepted by the entire world. Meaning of accounting. Accounting is the process of recording, classifying, analyzing and interpreting the business transaction which can be measured in the terms of money such a way that it helps the user in taking a correct decision so that is the definition of accounting now as per the definition one word is there accounting is a process of recording that means whatever the transaction take place in a business it is compulsory we have to record each and every transaction in our accounting book. But the condition is there that transaction can be measured in the terms of money. That means non-economic transactions are not recorded in our accounting book. So that is a one concept. Accounting is a process of recording. As per this concept, we have to record our entire economic transaction. Second one is there, accounting is a process of classifying. When you record this transaction in your accounting book, as per the, we can say that the second process, after recording this transaction, you have to classify this economic transaction in a various category. In a various category, that means Generally, two types of transactions taken place in a business. Some of the transaction, they are they are concerned as a case transaction. Some of the transaction, they are concerned as a credit transaction. So we have a knowledge about that. Which transaction we have to record in case book, or which types of transaction we have to record in a various subsidiary book. So generally, case transaction are recorded in a case book and the credit transactions are recorded in a various subsidiary. So that is the second process of this concept. After recording, you have to classify the various transactions in a various books. Then after third one is there, after the classify, you have to analyze. The analyze that means you have to apply the uh, rules of double entry bookkeeping system. You have to apply the rule of debit and credit of double entry bookkeeping system then after the that transaction you have to interpret it in the business transaction so that is the main four process is there first one is there you have to record this transaction in a various book then after you have to classify this transaction then after the analyzing must be there then after the interpreting this transaction the business transaction the business transaction that means 
whenever we accept the goods and service against money that is known as a business transaction which can be measured in the terms of money that means ki the transaction which can be measured in the terms of money they are actually recorded in our accounting book ki like whenever you pay the salary to your worker this transaction is recorded in your accounting book but the efficiency of that worker never recorded in accounting book so that means only and only economic transaction that means the transaction which can be measured in the terms of money are recorded in our accounting book such a way that it help the user such a way it help the user in taking a correct decision the user that means whenever you prepare the accounting book that accounting book provide various information to the various types of person like this accounting infra accounting book provide the various information to the owner about the profit and loss of the business about the financial status of the business so uh, owner get the proper idea about the their business with the help of accounting book sometime accounting books give proper information for the tax planning to the government that means how much we have to pay the tax to the government like we pay the various taxes like sales tax income tax octroi so to decide how much amount we have to pay as a taxes to the government accounting book books become very useful for taking a loan for taking a loan from the bank so accounting book become very useful to provide the proper information about the business so that is a definition of accounting accounting is a process of recording classifying analyzing and interpreting the business transaction which can be measured in the terms of money such a way that help help the user for taking a correct economic decision okay after introduction and meaning the second concept that is a objectives of accounting objective that means goal why we prepare our accounting books now the objective and advantage we can take parallelly about advantages of accounting object some objective and some advantage are same now the first objective or first goal why we prepare double entry bookkeeping system or why we prepare the bunches of books in our account uh, in our business first objective is their permanent record so many transaction take place in a business now it is very difficult to remember all the transaction in our mind so whenever we record this entire economic transaction in our various accounting books it's become permanent record nowadays we record this economic transaction in a computer also so when we record this transaction that become permanent record whenever we require such a information so we can get it easily so that is the first objective of accounting for permanent record second one is there measures profitability of the business it is a most important objective or the advantage of accounting to know the actual profit or actual loss of the business of accounting period or accounting year so with the help of accounting book we can get the idea about the net profit or net loss of the accounting period now the accounting period that means we know that accounting period started from the 1st april and completed to the 31st march so that is known as a accounting period like like current accounting period we consider it is started from the 1st april like 2020 and it is completed on 31st march 2021 so that is known as a accounting period so with the help of accounting book the owner get the idea about the net profit or net loss of the business that is a second objective of accounting and it is a an advantage
advantage of accounting also third one is there to know the financial position to don to know the financial position that means to know the financial status of the business whenever we prepare our accounting book we prepare the uh, balance sheet at the last day of financial year like 31st march on 31st march we prepare the balance sheet with the help of balance sheet we get the idea about the financial position like balance sheet it divide in a two part in a one part we record all the assets and the second part we record all the liability if the liabilities are more than assets your financial position is not good if the assets are more than liability that means your financial position is good so with the help of this accounting book we get the idea about the financial position of the business so that is a third objective of accounting and it is a advantage of accounting also to know the financial status to know the financial position of the business fourth one is their legal evidence that means accounting books or accounting document we can produce as a legal evidence like a various types of bills uh, uh, given by the trader to the customers so it's become a one legal document or it's become a one legal document which show the transaction taken place between the customers and the owner like a bill or voucher is a written evidence which support which support financial transaction so accounting books sometimes the accounting book we can produce as a legal evidence it's become a legal witness of such a economic transaction next one is there tax planning the tax planning that means the various types of taxes pay by the owner to the government like sales tax income tax so how was tax paid by the uh, paid by the owner to the to the government this uh, we get the idea with the help of accounting book if we prepare accounting book in a proper manner so we owner get the idea ki how much amount we have pay the tax to the government next one is there for preparing budget it is also most important uh, objective of or advantage is for preparing a budget accounting book prepare accounting books become very useful with the help of this uh, accounting book the owner uh, prepare the uh, or owner frame the policy for the next year he in a next year if owner want to keep change the uh, business policy so owner can change it so with the help of this accounting book owner uh, prepare the budget uh, last one is there to dictate and avoid the errors and frauds that means when uh, we prepare accounting there is a chances for the error so when we prepare accounting with the help of computer when we prepare accounting uh, uh, on books so there is a less chances of uh, error and fraud so these all are the objective of accounting some objective are similar as a advantage permanent record second one is there measure to profit profitability of the business third one is there to know the financial position fourth one is there legal evidence fifth one is there tax planning sixth one is there for preparing a budget third seventh one is there to dictate and avoid the error and frauds Okay, now we complete this session. We completed today introduction, meaning, and objective of accounting. Homework for today: Every student has to complete uh, meaning of accounting and objective of accounting. They have to return minimum one time in their note.